Good morning. Well, today's a new day. Yeah, just getting over the flu bug. Anybody ever had the flu bug? Oh, it's miserable. It's the worst time I ever had. For a 70 year old, up chucking 10 times in a row, twice. Oh, I'm still sore. Anyway, <clears throat> I was in prayer this morning. And uh, we've been praying for a long time. In 1978, went to a Change the World School of Prayer where they give us a wheel that had five blocks. You know, had five minute blocks all the way around it for an hour, <clears throat> trying to teach people how to pray. Very interesting. But the Bible says, pray without ceasing. And I guarantee you, if you try to follow that prayer wheel and pray for each item for five minutes, you can't do it. You can't do it. Because God pricks your heart. And he says, but what about this? And what about that? And so you just keep on praying. The Bible says pray without ceasing. So anyway, <clears throat> I was in prayer this morning. Now this is 48 years. No, 48 years? 40 years later. 40 years later. We've been praying all this time. And uh, with the, the world events the way they are today... Things are different like never before. We have never in history seen things taking place like it is now. And the Lord says, Charles, start up a Change the World School of Prayer at God's House International. At Meshed Church. At the Village Carpenter Worldwide Ministries. It doesn't matter which one we use because Father God is all the same. Jesus is all the same. The Holy Ghost is all the same. And so we're going to try to do that. And this is just our introduction for today. And I'm going to ask everyone that's listening now if they would uh, just go along and listen and join us in prayer. I remember when I was a young 20-year-old right out of the war in Vietnam, come home and became a new youth minister for the church, the wife and I, and before our children were born. Today, they're in their 40s. One's a lawyer, one's a computer guy. But the point is, the Lord, the Lord prompted me to uh, pray a specific way. And it starts like this. When I was, uh, we've been publishing now for 12 years, and one of our authors had sent a manuscript that was full of demons. I mean, every page had about 20 demons on the page. I'm talking about words, the word demon. And I know that demon comes from the Greek demonia or something like that. I'm not a Greek scholar. But the point is, I called that author and I said, man, we have a problem here. She said, what's that? I said, with your book, there's too many demons in it. She says, what do you mean? I said, well, it's on every page. You got demon after demon after it. And I said, that's not what Jesus said. Oh. It got quiet. And she said, well, it's in my Bible. And I said, it's not in my Bible. Where is it? And she said, well, you know over there where it says the guy come out of the cemetery, the Gadarenes, where he was cutting himself with them stones? I said, yes. She says, she says, it said demon. I says, where? She says, well, well, right here on the side of the page. I said, oh, you mean a footnote? She says, yes. And I said, who put that footnote in your Bible? She paused and she says, well, I guess the publisher. I said, that's right. What did Jesus say? Read the verse. It said, come out of him, thou unclean spirit. Well, that's our illustration about what we're talking about when we say we pray for unclean spirits, evil spirits, and devils. Those are the very words that Jesus used in our Bible. And we say the King James Bible because that's the Bible most Christians use today, I would say. But there are people that hang their salvation on the King James Bible, and I don't have no problem with that. But I tell them, I say, wait a minute, wait a minute. There was a Bible before that. It's called the Pilgrim's Bible. 
when they came over here to this country. That was way before King James authorized the Bible that was in Latin to be put into English. So nonetheless, the point is, we pray that way. And if you'll follow me, I think you'll understand. And we're going to start right now. Father God, we thank you for today and the beauty of the day, the sunshine. And I'm grateful that the rains have been held back today. I noticed it was supposed to rain and I got grass to mow and I was going to go mow and I checked this morning and it says clear and cloudy all day. No rain. Hallelujah. So anyway, Father, we're going to pray and we're going to start this new prayer concern that you ask us to do. And we pray for those to help us to be faithful, to continue uh, day in, day out. It may not be an everyday thing. It's just whatever you put on our heart, Father, and we'll do that. So we're going to pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. We pray, Father, to bind up all unclean spirits, all evil spirits, and all devils. In the name of Jesus, we pray to bind them with the three cords of the blood of Jesus that cannot be broken. Your word says a threefold cord is not easily broken. Well, Jesus' blood cannot be broken. We are grateful and thank you for that, Father. And then we are also in agreement with your word in Revelation, where it says they will be uh, cast into the lake of fire and brimstone forever and ever. Oh, we thank you for that, Father. And as you pour out your oil of healing upon the souls that are listening, we pray that you pour out, as you pour out your oil of blessing upon those that are praying and listening and joining in with us in prayer. We pray for the oil of creative wellness that you're putting upon the souls that are sick and afflicted that will be listening and participating. Father, we just thank you for that. We are so grateful that you love us and care for us, and we will continue to serve you until Jesus comes, and then even forever and ever after that. That's what the Word tells me, and we're grateful to you, Father, in the blessed name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Well, it's 7.30, 7 minutes and 30 seconds. We're gone. God bless you all.